And that's a terrible answer because one, it's not run very frequently and two, it's just a thousand records. So let me, uh, let me give you the best answer I can. I'll, I'm gonna make some assumptions, but I still think this is helpful content for everybody to listen to. So I never, ever, ever, ever commit to doing a data science project without having an exploratory phase working together with a stakeholder. Um, so to answer, or to begin to answer Hassan's question, there's two, there's two questions I always ask at the beginning of a project. But basically, I want to know how many times when the, when the project is fully completed and they have an algorithm, how many times a year, a month, a week, or whatever, they're going to run the algorithm. In other words, how many prediction cycles do they need and how often? That's what I want to know because that tells me a lot. So they could give you an answer of saying, uh, we run it once a quarter at the, en at the end of each quarter and we run it on a thousand records, right? That could be an answer. And that's a ter terrible answer because one, it's not run very frequently and two, it's just a thousand records. And the re reason, it, another reason why it's a terrible answer is because how much training data are they gonna give you? That means that a years worth of training data is like 4,000 records. That's not great, right? So those two, those two questions can tell me a lot about the viability of the project. It's not enough of a time savings, a cost savings to say, okay, I wanna develop a full blown algorithm for it. Now, if they tell you, well, we're gonna be running it 300 times a minute because it's some other type of processing. Now you're talking about something that does have that ROI. It does have a lot of data. Now that is 10 times more viable than the person who gives you that first answer, right? So Hassan, that's what I would tell you.